Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here and today we're going to be taking a look at Android 12. So I'm actually rocking the beta right now and I can say I'm actually really enjoying it. The performance is quite snappy and fluid and I can say this is definitely the biggest overhaul Android has ever had and I've been using Android for about nine years now. So without further ado, let's just jump into it and take a look at some of the new features. So I'm actually using the Pixel 4a 5G. I'm currently running the latest beta and it's definitely drastically different. In terms of the UI, they're calling it Material U. That basically includes the whole new redesign and it's got some pretty nifty things packed in. When you set your wallpaper, your home screen or lock screen wallpaper, it will actually grab the colors from the wallpaper and it will implement that as the accent color across your whole UI. So if you jump into your quick settings, you will see the color there. If you jump into your Google apps, you're gonna see it there as well, as well as in your settings app. So it's gonna go right across the whole OS, that color. And if you change your wallpaper, it's gonna shift. So the whole interface kind of changes. Honestly, it would be really nice if you could manually select the color you want Say you want something to contrast with the wallpaper and you don't want it to match, that would be really nice, but currently they don't offer that. And this new color accent is due to make its way across to the widgets of Android 12. They're not currently out yet, but you're gonna have color matching widgets to your home screen. So I like this new playful design. It's, it's pretty nice and it does feel kind of childlike, but it's kind of exciting at the same time. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the new quick settings. So rather than those old circles you had to toggle your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or airplane mode, you now have these new tiles. So they're kind of like rectangular with rounded corners and they're a lot larger, easier to read and easier to click on, which I really like. When swiping down again, it actually increases the size of the tiles so they're even larger and even easier to press. The brightness slider's a lot thicker and overall larger, and again, the accent color from the background spreads right across the whole UI. But the media player is also more integrated, larger, cleaner, and overall just looks a lot nicer, and it's easier to access. Notifications are cleaner as well, they're just rounded off at the corners, and you can see the whole interface is just a little bit more minimal, more childlike and playful, and Something I really like is that the counters for your notifications are larger, so the badge is just a little bit clearer, so you can actually see how many notifications you have stacked up. There is due to be new privacy tiles coming soon, so there will be toggles, which will allow you to disable your camera and microphone. Now there is actually a new volume animation, so when you're changing your volume, there's this new slider on the side. Again, this takes in the color palette from your wallpaper. I personally still think it's a bit thick. It's a little bit large at the side there. So if you're watching a video or something, it's a little bit overkill. I would like if they made it a little bit more low profile and I really don't like when you expand it and it pops up with this big large menu taking up half your screen. When you swipe up your app drawer, they've actually changed it now. So it just kind of fades in into a full screen view rather than sliding up from the bottom. That's kind of interesting. I personally kind of liked it before in one of the older betas when it scrolled up with the rounded corners and kind of fitted into the full display. I like that a lot better. In the new Android 12, Wi-Fi passwords can be shared with nearby share, so kind of similar to what iOS has with sharing passwords for your Wi-Fi. There's these really nice bouncing animations when you reach the end of a page when it kind of distorts a little bit and ripples, which is kind of nice. On the lock screen, it's just more childlike and kind of takes in that new UI. And I kind of like it, the clock's much easier to read, you have your weather displayed with your temperature, and overall the notifications are rounded and they kind of match in the notification center. At the bottom right here, you do have easy access to your Google Pay, which is nice. So if you're gonna pay at the till, you can easily just pull that up and use your fingerprint to unlock it. Something I really like is when you lift up your phone, the display lights up from the bottom, but when you push the lock button, it lights up from the side. So, so just small things, but really refined and overall they just make the experience a lot nicer. And something I really like is that when you have no notifications, it will actually go ahead and make this really giant clock. So really nice if you wanna know what time it is and you're far away from your phone. Jumping into the settings, I found there's a new option to allow the power button to launch Google Assistant, similar to what the iPhone has with Siri. 
I really don't like that too much, but it's there if you want it. But overall, I've noticed there's just better, more enhanced performance, smoother animations, and overall nicer graphics, and the phone is a lot nicer to use running this new Android 12 than it was before. So that's a really big bonus for me. There's also some new gestures as well. So in the settings, you can configure gestures. So when you swipe down on your navigation bar, it brings down the whole display. So it's easier to use with one hand. This looks like a blatant ripoff of what iOS has had for a long time now. Um, but I guess it's kind of handy if you want that on Android or you can toggle it. So swiping down on your navigation bar pulls down your quick settings, which I think is a lot nicer. Something that is upcoming is a new privacy menu, which Google has announced. And basically this will track when apps use certain permissions and it will log them so you can see what time they use them. And you can also go ahead and revoke access for specific apps if they're using it without your permission. So really nice to see more security features coming to Android. And obviously they brought along the new colored dots in your notification center. So if your camera or microphone is being used, you will be able to see right from your quick settings. As I mentioned earlier, the widgets are not out yet. They're coming along later. So super excited to play around with those, but there is a lot of apps and KWG add-ons to get a similar experience right now at this period in time. And the final thing I'm kind of excited about, even though I don't really have a car that does this yet, is that they're bringing car keys to Android. So previously it was announced on iOS, they're gonna bring the ability to unlock a car and actually use your phone as a key. And now that is coming to Google Wallet. So you'll be able to unlock specific cars Google's partnered with, and it will only be new cars. So if you already have a car, it might not work. There might be updates, so it might be packed in, but you're gonna have to check online. And it's very limited and specific, but it's still nice to see they're jumping on the bandwagon, trying to catch up and keep up there with Apple and what they have planned. So overall, I think Android 12 is really nice. I'm liking it so far. I can't wait to see what new features Google has in mind and what new design overhauls are gonna make it to the final version, but we'll just have to see and take it step by step. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new Android 12 and all the features it brings. And also remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm still trying to reach 50K. If you guys can let me know any videos you would like to see, I'll try and make that happen. But thank you guys and peace.